weathering and erosion. Every day you will be notified with a new video which improves your knowledge day by day. So, don't forget to subscribe. Weathering and erosion are important parts of the rock cycle. Weathering is one of the forces on Earth that destroy rocks and landforms. Weathering is the process where rocks are dissolved, worn away, or broken down into smaller and smaller pieces. Erosion happens when rocks and soil are picked up and moved to another place by ice, water, wind, or gravity. Weathering often leads to erosion. Weathering degrades a rock without changing its location. But erosion causes particles of rock to be carried away from their original locations and deposited elsewhere. There are physical, chemical, and organic weathering processes. Physical weathering. Physical weathering. Physical weathering breaks down a rock's physical structure. For example, in cold environments, water that gets into a hole in rock freezes. This will cause those holes to expand and eventually crack and split the rock and break down into smaller and smaller pieces. When water flows on rocks or falls as rain on rocks, water rubs the rocks and causes weathering. Plants also causes weathering. The roots of plants, as it grows down, needs space, so it creates cracks in rocks, which results in breakdown of rocks. Another cause of weathering is wind. Wind carries a lot of dust and particles. When this rub with the rocks, it smooths their surface, which causes weathering. Chemical weathering. Chemical weathering changes the chemical structure of rock, causing it to become softer or more brittle. Acid rain may cause chemical weathering. Organic weathering. Organic weathering also known as biological weathering. Biological weathering occurs on rocks due to plants, animals, and microorganisms like fungi and algae. They make the rocks to decompose. Erosion. Once the rock has been weakened and broken up by weathering, it is ready for erosion. Water, wind, ice, and gravity can cause erosion. Rivers wear down and carry away rocks and soil along their banks. Erosion occurs in the ocean, where moving water and waves degrade and carry away particles of coastline rock. Wind erosion can move large quantities of small rocks and soil from their original locations to a new place and create impressive formations, such as sand dunes. Ice can move much larger rocks than most other erosive forces. Erosion by ice is rare in most parts of the world. Mass wasting is a specific type of erosion that is caused by gravity. It occurs when soil or rocks are carried away by falling or sliding downwards. A rock slide or landslide is a common example of mass wasting as a large quantity of loose rock or soil rolls or slides down a slope. The Grand Canyon in Arizona and the Natural Bridge in Virginia are landmark examples of erosion. The best ways that we can prevent erosion is to plant vegetation with deep roots that help to hold the soil in place. This is especially important in areas that are more vulnerable to erosion, such as along rivers, streams, and on hillsides. For more educational videos, click here. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share the video. Thank you for watching Make It Easy Education.